what are the three common problems customers face when it comes to building on AWS? Oh, I wouldn't say that customers face problems, but uh, when when customers, when my customers enter the world of cloud, they are uh, finding a different environment from what they are used to. So I work with many traditional enterprise customers that are coming out of the traditional IT that is dominated by waterfall processes, by a lot of uh, overhead, and by having to do a lot of undifferentiated heavy lifting before they even start developing, right? So when they enter the cloud, they find that a lot of things are a lot more easy to do because you can get a lot of access to uh, pre-done services like databases and uh, streaming and analytics and big data services that are ready there for you at the press of a button. So that means that it actually exposes something where they notice that their internal processes have become slow and they need to really rearrange the way they work. And this is why we see many customers adopting agile methodologies and a DevOps mentality for running and uh, trying out new concepts with uh, lean business models. So I think um, using the cloud is a very good trigger for companies to really think about their organization on how to become builders as we speak uh, by developing agile methodologies, having smaller teams, experimenting more, which is kind of a different world as they are used to from their, different, from their older organization. What requirements need to be met in order to enter uh, the AWS Builders program? So, uh, Builders is not really a program we have at AWS, but we like to think of our customers as builders because what we really provide in the cloud are building blocks. So, as a customer, when you use AWS, you really are building something for your business. And um, think of this as a, 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 any kind of project can be seen as taking data and then using that data to generate a value for your business. And in order to do that, you need to build the thing that creates that value. And that could be an IoT system that is collecting data, generating predictions for predictive man manufacturing, uh, predictive maintenance in manufacturing and in, in uh, industrial IoT. Or it could be collecting data from your website to better understand your customers and then uh, creating some value out of that. So um, when you use the cloud, you automatically become a builder in that you are using all those building blocks, you build up your solution, uh, similarly like a Lego set, where you can experiment a lot, uh, see what works, see what doesn't, and then exchange bits and pieces until your system in the cloud is doing what you need. So I would encourage customers, when they start building on AWS, to be curious, to try out a lot of experiments, and the cloud really is a place that allows you to experiment at very low cost with not a lot of risk because everything is just paper use and there is not a lot of risk if it's just paper use. You try out something, if, if it works, fine. If it doesn't, you just tear it down again and then you can start with another experiment. And what will be the next big thing in the cloud? Oh, uh, at Amazon we don't really know what the future is bringing. Uh, and it's really hard to make predictions, especially about the future. Uh, but what we know is that customers always like lower prices. So we are working very hard to make our platform very efficient and lower prices. And at AWS, we have lowered our prices 66 times since we started. Another thing that our customers tell us is they like the innovation that we bring into the cloud and that makes it easy for customers to take advantage of the newest technology, such as machine learning technology, machine learning algorithms that now customers can use at the press of a button with services like Amazon SageMaker. So I would say that um, for customers, it's a great time to build something new and the future is really going to be built by our customers, by the innovation, by the ideas that they realize on the cloud and by the, the fantasies that they are coming up with. Oh, this is something we can try out right now. So previously, it was really hard to build an IT system that can digest terabytes of data or even petabytes of data and making any sense of it. Now it has become really easy to do that with the cloud, with the scalability, with containers, with machine learning and all these things. So we're really looking forward to learning from our customers what the future of the cloud will be. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.